Hey, what's up, everybody? In this episode of Footsie's 101, we'll look at how you can use fireballs to improve your neutral game. Fireballs can be used as a close range poke. In mid to close range, you can think of fireballs as your furthest reaching normal with a bit more startup. Look at Ryu's position here. Ryu is standing just outside of his crouching medium kick range. Crouching medium kick is one of his furthest reaching normal attacks. At this range, Ryu can't reach his opponent with any of his quick normal moves. However, Ryu can use his Hadouken like a normal attack and thus increase the range where he can safely try to attack his opponent. This is a great way to trick opponents who think that they are outside of Ryu's range and give you the chance to poke away at them. Once you condition your opponent to block by establishing a fireball pattern at this range, try changing it up with a raw drive rush into a fast normal attack, like crouching light punch or standing medium punch. If your opponent blocks the rush attack, you can go for a strike throw mix up from here. There are two weaknesses to using a fireball as a close range poke. First, you put yourself at risk of getting counter hit. Since fireballs start up slower than most normal attacks, your opponent can try to counter you by pushing an attack when they think you'll throw a fireball. This could lead to you getting hit by a counter hit combo which will do a lot of damage. Be sure to be as unpredictable as possible by changing up your fireball timings to avoid this. You can flip this around by not throwing a fireball and with punishing your opponent's attack instead. This is all part of the mind games of fighting games. Constantly changing your approach and button timings to counter your opponent is something every good player learns how to do. The second downside is that you risk getting hit by a jump or perfect parry. If this happens, it means that your opponent got a read on your fireball patterns and you need to switch things up next time. 2. Fireballs can be used to create space traps. When used in block strings, fireballs leave you at negative frames but pushes the opponent away from you. If done too close to the opponent, this will leave you in range for a punish combo, but if spaced properly, will keep you just outside of your opponent's longest reaching normal. You can use the spacing caused by the pushback to punish opponents who think they're in range for a punish combo. You can practice this in training mode pretty easily. Take any character and set the dummy to do their longest reaching normal after block. Then, experiment to find out what strings and what spacings leave you just outside of your opponent's attack range. Practice punishing their limb with your best punish counter combo. In a real match, players won't always push buttons, so set one more block reversal option to do nothing on guard. Turn both reversal settings on and practice whiff punishing the dummy only when you see the dummy whiff a move. This will help you a lot in a real match, so be sure to practice it. 3. Fake your fireballs. There are many special moves in the game that are made specifically for beating fireballs. Some examples are Kami's Spin Knuckle and Chun-Li's Hazanshu. These attacks will punish you for throwing fireballs at predictable timings, but you can use this to your advantage. Try to fake a fireball with something like a standing jab to trick your opponent into using an anti-fireball move, then punish it by attacking or attempting a perfect parry against it. Faking your fireballs is a great way to make one of your weaknesses a strength. 4. Fireballs into Drive Rush this is a new concept that didn't exist in Street Fighter before Street Fighter 6. You can use your fireballs to create a moving wall that you can drive rush behind for a relatively low risk way to get into your opponent's face. This will depend on the spacing and the character you're using, but there are many great ways to use this to set up your offense. That's all for today's video. I hope you found this info useful. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful or if there's anything you didn't understand. And also, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video, as it lets me know if I should keep on making content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.